Alice Starling was directed by Mary Nye and tells the story of a young woman trapped in an abusive relationship who becomes an unwitting participant in an intervention staged by her two friends. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review. And this time, we're going to be talking about a very serious subject, a very uh, powerful, impactful movie. And uh, I got a lot of thoughts. I got a lot of thoughts. Now, this is the directorial debut of Mary Nye. She has some writing credits on some TV shows but this is her first film and I gotta say this being her first film with the subject matter and the performances that we get out of uh, Anna Kendrick and the rest of the cast I think she may have a bright future in film now before we get really deep into this review and start talking about what I like and I didn't like who this movie is for and all that stuff I just want to say like I said I hinted at a little bit in the beginning of this video this is a very serious subject matter and if you're a person that has uh, you know been affected by some of the stuff that's being discussed in this film you may not want to see this this may trigger you uh so you know just be a little you know fair warning for that kind of stuff that we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about abuse you know mentally and physically uh, a lot of trauma that the character goes through in this film so like i said if this is something that you don't want to hear just want to give you all a heads up so now let's get into this and the first thing that i want to talk about about this film alice darling is anna kendrick now i'm not one of the people that is on Twitter always crying and yelling and screaming that their person that they liked in a movie didn't get nominated for a award that does nothing. <laughs> I've just never been a really big fan of the whole award season. Honestly, it's my least favorite thing about movies in general. It just gets really exhausting because I just like movies and I don't really care if a person wins or not because if you like the movie, then you like the movie. That's all that matters. But with that being said, <laughs> Um, Anna Kendrick, though, I, I think, you know, for me personally, if I was making the Oscar list right now for 2024, I think I would put her on there right now. She does an amazing job at this role, and it's a very hard role to do. I can't even imagine, you know, me being a dude, I can't imagine what this character is going through. But luckily, with the direction from the director, Mary, here, and our actors and actresses, uh, particularly, like I said, Anna Kendrick, we are able to somewhat get kind of a little bit of feeling of what it may be like to be someone in that relationship. And let me tell you, it's really uncomfortable. I kind of like that it was uncomfortable because that's what the movie is trying to do. It's trying to make you feel uncomfortable. It's trying to put you in the shoes of Anna Kendrick's character. It wants you to know how it feels to be in an abusive relationship. A relationship where someone is controlling every aspect of your life. Where it makes you want to second guess what you are doing. If you are a good person. And there's a lot of moments like that in this film that are just no dialogue you know, just Anna Kendrick either looking at the mirror or just looking at the camera and her just slowly going into this depressive state or this having an anxiety attack. And I can already tell that this movie is not going to be for everyone. Like I said in the beginning, when I first started this, there's going to be some tough subject matter in here. But along with that, this movie is very slow and methodical with the way it tells its story. And it's on purpose, of course, especially I feel like with the subject matter, you don't, you're not going to have like action scenes you know you know people are not going to go around shooting each other and then they're going to have a moment where she's just like depressed and her boyfriend is <laughs> berating her and doing all this stuff don't think that's the kind of style of movie you would have i know there's some people out there that don't necessarily watch trailers or know what's going on they see anna kendrick and it kind of looks like a thriller so they're expecting probably some or some thriller aspects to it there it's not in this film so if you were looking for that kind of film um i'm just here to tell you you're not going to get it. But as far as stuff that I didn't like that, or I didn't think that worked in the film, there is a side plot in this film where they have a search party and they're looking for a girl that has gone missing in the area where Anna Kendrick and her friends go to celebrate one of her friend's birthday. You know, they're there for a week and there's a local girl that has gone missing and they kind of tie it, try to tie it in with Anna Kendrick's character's like situation. And I understand what they were trying to do and the message they were trying to give. But for me, I just felt like every time they they focused on that side plot it kind of took away from what we were getting with Anna Kendrick character and her boyfriend and her friends just all that whole circle that we got there just kind of made me like oh 
they're doing this again. <laughs> is anything going to happen? But that's probably the only thing that I really didn't like about it. It's also a little slow, but again, I, like I said, that's really intentional for this type of movie. But everything else, I really enjoyed. I thought it was good. Probably not going to watch it again because <laughs> I don't want to go through that emotional roller coaster ever again. But I'm really glad that I saw it. The performances are really great. Like I said, Andrew Kendrick, I think, is Oscar worthy in this film. Never seen her do something like this. I've always known her as like the pitch perfect girl or like the girl next door, which she plays in different movies. This role is something new and refreshing for her. I did hear that she went through something similar, a relationship similar to the character in this film. So that's even more crazy for me because I, how, what kind of, you know, mental state or like, you know, how strong you have to be to portray somebody that uh, is very close to something that you dealt with in your life. I think that's really cool, really commendable. And again, Anna Kendrick, man, crazy. The rest of the cast is really, really good, as well as the boyfriend, you know, the really terrible, horrible man boyfriend in here. He's great in a bad way because he's really good at being a horrible, loathsome human being. And just everybody around. The ending of this film also is like really impactful, really powerful. Again, not that much dialogue in the film. It's just a couple of lines and mainly just the rest of the cast doing acting with their faces. <laughs> They're just doing facial expressions, you know, looking at a certain way. This is really good. I had a good time with this. But as always, guys, the most important thing is to let me know what you thought of the film or what you're thinking about this film. Did I did I persuade you to, uh, you know, go check this movie out? Way to VOD, whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you surprised that Anna Kendrick is putting out a very serious role? I know she's done stuff in the past, you know, serious roles, but this is the first one that I feel like, you know, is getting recognition or, you know, she could possibly be nominated for an award. I don't know. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And remember, guys, keep watching movies.